Okay, uh, Mr. Finley here, and I wanted to talk to you today about this thing we call text coding, or the more fancy term would be annotation, which we mean literally adding notes and notation to a piece of text. You're going to be reading a lot of different documents this year, essays, newspaper articles, short stories, novels, and it's sometimes really useful to scribble down on those documents uh, either notes or symbols to help you both understand them as you're reading them, but also to uh, more easily go through them later when you're reviewing them. It turns out that just the act of engaging your hand with a pencil in it to make notes or symbols on a text as you're reading it helps you to process it in your brain. It engages different parts of your brain, the ones having to do with motor skills, and actually lets you understand a text a little bit better just through the process of writing on it. So even though you may read something and think, oh, I understand this, I get this, I don't have to make any notes on it, you will actually add an entire other level of understanding to a text just by adding these symbols uh, or these notes. So we would like to suggest one way of annotating a text, one set of symbols that we think works pretty well. Um, and that way, as you are notating your text throughout this year, um, everyone will be using the same system so we can look it over and say, hmm, are you doing this in the way that is most useful for you? So these are the symbols that we would like to suggest that you use as you're scribbling on a text to help yourself understand it better. So the obvious one to make a little star next to what you think is important. This is pretty obvious. I think lots of people do this naturally without realizing that it is annotation or text coding. Um, something's important, just add a little star next to it. But here are some other symbols that might be useful also. We suggest adding an exclamation mark next to anything that you think is surprising. When you read it and part of your brain goes, oh, I didn't expect that, add an exclamation mark. This makes it easier for you to go through it, the text later and say what was important versus what was just surprising versus what we think is also important, the question mark. Anything that you think is confusing, you should mark with a question mark. That way, when you go back later, you can say, okay, where were all the problems that I had some trouble? Uh, and very quickly go through, find those question mark sections, and figure them out, either with the help of a teacher or using some other resource. Um, the other thing that we use is uh, this image, which is supposed to be two links in a chain. It looks actually more like two eggs kissing because I'm a horrible artist, but anyway, the two links in the chain suggest that there is a link, something you've read links to something else you know. So if you're reading about it, for example, video games, and you think, oh, I play video games, you might add this link symbol because it means that something you're reading is linked to or connected to something else in your life or that you know about. So these four symbols are the ones you'll probably use the most as you're reading through a text um, to make sure that you both understand it and also so when you go back to that text later, uh, you can more easily and more quickly get the information out of it. And by a text, again, we mean anything that you're reading. It could be a newspaper article, it could be an essay. Um, you're going to be reading a lot of newspaper articles and magazine articles for our Monday writing prompts this year, so we suggest doing this kind of notation. A star if it's important, an exclamation mark uh, if it's surprising, a question mark if it's something you don't understand, um, and a link if it connects you to something else. There's another set of symbols that are actually just little words that we like to throw in there. You don't want to make huge, big notes in the margins um, because it takes a lot of time and sometimes it's hard to read your handwriting afterwards. Um, and it can sometimes slow down the process of reading. Sometimes those big notes in the margins are useful, but usually when you're just going through a text for the first or second time, you want to stick with these small ones. So here are some four small little word type annotations that you can also throw in. Um, whenever I disagree with something in the text, I will just write a little no off to the side. Uh, because remember, you don't always have to agree with what you read. Sometimes you'll read something and think, oh, I don't think that that's right at all, actually. Add a little no so that you know when you go back to it, oh, this is a section I disagreed with. You might also write a little duh next to it for anything that you saw coming. Sometimes you may read stuff that's very surprising, in which case you put a little exclamation mark next to it. Sometimes you'll read stuff that's like, yeah, I knew this five pages ago, clearly. You might add a little duh next to that. 
Um, this one, DEF, which is short for definition, this is important. Whenever you run into a word that you don't know, I always write this little def next to it, which means I need a definition of this word. That way, instead of having to go and look up every word as I'm reading something, which can get really, really slow, I just mark the words I don't know as I go through, and then I come back later and I look for all of those words that are marked def, and that's when I have uh, an encyclopedia or someone else there to help me to get those definitions. This last one I think is also very important. Sometimes I'll read something and I'll wonder, well, wait a minute, I'm not sure I buy that. And so I always write why. When I've written why next to a part of a, te uh, a, a text, it's because I need a reason. I want a reason why they're saying this statement. Maybe they've given me some reasons in the text, but I don't quite believe it yet. So I might w mark a why here. It's a little bit different than just a no, where I disagree with something. In this case, I want more evidence. So these four words and symbols, the star, the exclamation mark, the question mark, and the link, and then these four short, short word symbols, no, da, def, and why, are basically your main toolkit when you're marking up a text um, for review. Uh, you might come up with symbols of your own. Everyone has a slightly different uh, series of hieroglyphs that they use, but we suggest these four as a great starting place. Um, so, uh, on, I believe, this coming Monday, you're going to be uh, doing some of this text coding as part of your Monday writing prompt, but don't just do this because it's part of the assignment. Get into the habit of doing this kind of coding, this sort of annotation, whenever you're reading a text because it's going to help you understand it more and it's going to make it much easier to go back to that text later when you have to get information out of it, for example, to write a paper, to make an argument, anything like that. Cool. Again, really quick, if you have any questions about what I said in this video, you can watch the video again. It's one of the great things about video, so never uh, feel bad about going back, making sure you understand everything I've said in these videos. Thanks.